Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News. Well, really, a This Week in Nintendo News style video where I cover all of the various interesting Nintendo news from the past seven days. And let's get to it. Uh, so first of all, a very strange thing happened on Monday. Well, actually, I think it really happened on Friday or sometime this weekend. But, um, but really, it came out on Monday, the majority of the information, which is, first of all, some inside sources within Nintendo. Um, Emily Rogers is her name. She, I forget what exactly her position is at Nintendo, but she's somehow affiliated with Nintendo in a PR capacity. But apparently not inside enough that she knows things for sure because she tweeted, hey, on Monday, we're gonna leak to you some information about an unannounced Wii U game. And people were freaking out because what the heck could this possibly be? People very quickly discovered it's a Paper Mario game. Um, so Paper Mario U. And again, this is still kind of in rumor status, but it's coming from Emily Rogers, who is a Nintendo employee as far as I'm aware. She still is. Um, so apparently it's being finished up and localized right now. So we've got Paper Mario Wii U coming out at some point. It must be in the near future. It must be soon because they're finishing localization. So I don't know, could be very cool. Our next story is about Smash announcer, that famous iconic voice. Uh, they had that voice actor on a podcast actually hosted by three guys, two of whom are acquaintances of mine um, from back in my Zelda Dungeon days. Well, I guess not back in, I'm still in Zelda Dungeon, but they're affiliated with the Zelda Dungeon family. Um, Alex Plant and Ben Lamaro, I can never pronounce his last name properly, but anyways, good guys. Went to E3 with them a couple years ago. Um, the interesting thing about this interview is that in the end-ish of it, they asked him, hey, would you mind reading out some character names that fans would like to see in Smash, but never are, and then other various phrases, like, can you read this famous catchphrase from this other famous Nintendo character? Um, very interesting, very amusing. If you want to check that out, there's a link for you in the description. Our next bit of news is pretty interesting. It's about Fire Emblem Fates, and if you've been reading up on this at all, you'll know that in the original Japanese version, well, in both the Japanese version and the uh, US version, you have the ability for your character to choose either opposite sex or same sex partner to marry. In the Japanese version, there's a slightly controversial situation that can occur where there will be an attempt to drug a lesbian character to make her think that she's straight and it's bizarre and uh, anyways created quite a bit of controversy because as you can imagine that's considered slightly offensive to lesbians so the north american version instead of trying to translate that differently or soften the blow in any kind of way just removed it completely altogether and that's that happens with localization stuff back in the early days of Nintendo. All kinds of things were just completely removed from games or graphics were completely changed so as not to provoke controversy for that particular region. Because, you know, what might be acceptable in Japan is not acceptable in America and vice versa. So, very interesting situation though. Our next story is about the NX, and really this is just 100% rumor, we don't know a thing. Um, it's coming from a slightly reasonable source, but don't to put too much stock in it. Basically what the rumor claims is that the NX is, and this we've heard this before, but this is asserting it like it's fact, is two completely separate but linked consoles, a console and a handheld. It's two things and that they will be released individually, um, and that the console will be coming first this year, the handheld next, next year. The gameplay flows from one to the other, however you want to interpret that. Um, it's an interesting concept, and I'm not going to be disappointed if that turns out to be the case, but it doesn't really revolutionize gameplay the way uh, I mean, that's the thing that Nintendo keeps saying over and over and over again, is that the NX is a completely brand new thing, it's going to revolutionize gameplay, and the only way I can think of that being the case is if it's virtual reality or some kind of augmented reality thing. 
but mm, if this is it, okay, all right, but I don't see how that revolutionizes gameplay. I guess, oh, you can be playing something at home, but then it you just take the handheld version along the road with you and you can still be playing the same thing that you're playing at home on the console. I guess that kind of revolutionizes gameplay, but not not really. Uh, anyways, it's an interesting concept. I'm not going to be disappointed if it turns out to be the case. And another aspect of it that they were talking about that I thought was pretty interesting, but again, just 100% rumor. There's no basis to this. And this is just 100% speculation on uh, some people who read the patents that have come out. And we don't know that these patents are for the NX. We just know that Nintendo's patented these ideas. And the way they're interpreting these patents uh, involves being able to store data from one console onto another. They're saying, well, hey, that could mean that it could interact with things like PCs or the PlayStation 4 or whatever. Like, you could somehow be able to transfer game data, not just between the NX console and the NX handheld, but the NX console and your PC or the NX handheld and your PC. So. That would be interesting, but I can't see Nintendo doing something like that. And our final story for the day is a Pokemon dorkly video, of course, because there's always a new one to talk about. And this one is about eight Pokemon that are um, mythological in origin, and it's pretty amusing, pretty interesting. If you want to check it out, there's a link for you down in the description. That is it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. See you guys at some point. I'm so used to saying see you guys tomorrow for more news, but that's not typically the case these days, right? So see ya possibly a week from now for more news. Bye guys.